As I believe. We are good to go here. <laughs> we got Radiance Pink in the blue, ironically, and uh, Radiance Emerald in the orange here. An inner org matchup for week number two. They were both placed in the same division and tier. And here we are. Early on in the first game, Reaper with a nice dribble. Going for a bit of a breezy flick, but he will be blocked by Lennox. Now Lennox over one. Trying to beat Ren as well, but Ren's got the save, and he'll send it away. Kava to the side now. Reaper up forward. He's going to miss the clear, though. Ren comes through. He's missed it as well. And now Kava one-on-one -on -one with Texas Aggie. And Aggie will control it on the wall. Quick Maddie back inside. All the way across the face of the net, and Ren takes control on the other side. But... Regan's Emerald keep possession here in the first minute. Still nil-nil, though, in game number one. Nice pass from Reaper over to Ren. Ren off the backboard. Follow from Reaper. No, Ren actually will take it himself. Reaper was up for it and just kind of fainted out that last defender. And Ren just takes it himself off the back wall. Lennox has to go up to that to block Reaper. Reaper doesn't make contact, and Ren's got an easy shot. And it's 1-0 in favor of Radiance Pink. Three fifty to play. Reaper inside. Kaba with a clear. Nice save from him. And Lennox goes under run. Now one to beat. Aggie has the block as the third man. A bit of an aggressive push from him, but it works out in his favor. Things slow down briefly here as Reaper takes it around the corner. Cabo clears it off his own back wall. And Ren's overrun it. Yeah, goes for the drop pass to Aggie. And <laughs> they collide. And kaba has got an easy goal. And he nets it right in. Tie game. Keep in mind, this is actually Radiance Emerald's first, like, legit match this season. Their first match was a forfeit. Um, so, for the season, they got credit for... I think their goal differential is automatically, like, negative three here. So, that is actually their first goal of the circuit. And, I mean, it comes against a pretty big opponent. I mean, this is a good bragging rights opportunity for, for both teams to be like, yeah, I beat the other team in an IGL match, no biggie. But at the end of the day, it is all love between these two guys, uh, between these two teams. They're both, they're all like, you know, <laughs> they're not enemies. They're acquaintances here. Three minutes to go here. And we are still tied up at one apiece between Pink and Emerald. Got about the nice catch, but Reaper breaks it up. And now Aggie takes it into the corner. Ren around the corner. It's going to pop up into the midfield, but Lennox has the clear. Trying to get a follow-up touch to beat Reaper. Can't do so. Now Reaper off the back wall. Looking for the read. Puts it off the post. Follow-up from Ren goes off the wall and banks it back into the midfield. Shot on target from Aggie off the post. And quick, Maddie clears for Emerald, but he can't get it past the midfield line just yet. Ren back inside on target and in. Radiance Pink take back the lead. 2-1 halfway through the first game. And that center from Ren from, uh, I think it was like 15 to 20 seconds earlier, was a very, in my opinion, a, a kind of a strange decision that he made to just bang it off the wall instead of taking the shot, but I guess he, he's got a bigger brain than I do because it worked out in the end. Now he's looking for a double tap off the back wall. Renz actually got the credit for the touch, I believe, as Reaper was also up for it, but it will go off the post, and it's going to be Maddie going the other way. Actually beats Reaper and drops it off to Lennox, but Reaper's follow-up challenge on Lennox does continue to stall in the corner, and Ren takes over. Quick Maddie not letting them break out just yet, and it's Aggie on that front post, playing a really good defensive game just so far in this uh, game one already, but really, he's just playing a solid defensive game there in that 15 seconds as well. Ren shot on target to try to extend the lead, but Quick Maddie sends it away. Reaper puts it back into the box, but it is not going to go in just yet. It will be cleared away. Ren with a demo on both Lennox and Quick Matty, making it a brief 3v1, and now it's awkward. Lennox ba uh, bails out his uh, two uh, teammates, though, and he's able to get it off to the side. But Emerald really starving for boost right now. Late in this first game, they do only trail by one. And now they push it into the blue half. Lennox is Shot does not register actually, but it will be blocked by Ren. Now Kaba around the corner trying to get that one back for Emerald into the midfield. But Quick Matty is a bit uh, too close to that front post. If he had positioned himself lined up with a back post, that could have been a goal. Although there were a few defenders in net for Radiance Pink. Now a minute to go. Reaper's just stalling things. Maybe he can add a third. 
to Pink's goal count, but it will be blocked. Aggie around the corner, back in the midfield once again, but quick many clears as far as Reaper. Reaper shot on target, and he's going to score. Radiance Pink extend their lead now to two goals with 49 seconds left. It's going to be 3-1. But credit to Emerald for holding strong. Because they, <laughs> they were killing the game there for a while and just couldn't convert. Speaking of converting, Lennox puts that toward net off the kickoff. It will be blocked. The fall from Quick Matty pinched away into the corner. Kaba trying to center it again. He's bumped off the ball, but still has 78 boost to work with. Shot is a bit too high, though, and Emerald still trail by two. Lennox stalling it in the corner. Wren can't get the pinch, and Quick Matty puts it back into the midfield. It's popped very high. Aggie up for it. He's missed it, but he feints out Kaba in the process, and Wren clears to midfield. Quick Matty back inside, actually pops it over two. Open net for Lennox to shoot at, and he's going to score. 3 2, 16 seconds left. And Emerald still have a chance here in this first game. It's going to pop off the back of Reaper trying to defend uh, the blue half there, and the double commit really forces some confusion. And Emerald get an opening. Let's see if they can get another break here with 16 seconds remaining. Ren trying to put the nail in the coffin for the first game. He's blocked, and now it's going to be Kaba trying to break out of his own half. Aggie won't see that, though. He's going to put it off the back wall. Reaper up for it. Missed it. Five seconds left for Emerald to go the length of the field. Quick Manny blows up Ren. It's still stalling in the orange half, though, and it should touch down. No, it's still up. 13 boost for Lennox, and he's not going to get to it in time. Radiance Pink take the first game but it was a pretty close margin for sure. And we move on to the next map, Manfield Day. We hop into the next game here. Over at Manfield Day. And they're ready. Luckily, I'm ready for them to be ready this time. <laughs> Five minutes to see if Radiance Pink can advance to match point or to see if Emerald can... Uh, Get us to Forbidden Temple, a map that we have not seen this season yet. Every single match that I've casted, at least, has been a sweep, so... I don't know. That's a dangerous double commit for Radius Pink, as Ren and Reaper are both up for it, but Ren has space to work with. Pops it into the midfield for Reaper. Quick Matty stops it at midfield. Lennox takes over. But Aggie, what a 50 from him. All the way into the orange corner once again. Looks for a demo, can't find it. Now Lennox back inside the other way. Stopped by Ren, though. He's got 10 boost to follow this one up. Maddie recognizes it. Can't get that challenge, though. And Ren will be able to get it to Reaper, and that's as far as he goes. What a pass inside from Quick, Maddie, And Kaba tucks it in. 1-0 in favor of Emerald. And Quick, Maddie on the corner of the penalty box, just centers it right to Kaba running on. The square ball works out in their favor, and Emerald take the lead. Their second goal of the season, mind you. And they're going to get a third off the kickoff as Lennox pinches it right in. That was so fast, 75 miles per hour. And literally the only thing he did was speed flip. <laughs> it's going to just nestle into the top shelf. And now pink trail. 2-0 with 4.14 to go. Still plenty of time to get a few goals back. And Ren may have just got one back as he puts that one toward the far post off of the wall. But it will go wide, and Reaper's fall is saved by Quick Matty. Reaper's trying to stall things, but Matty will clear it, and then it pinches all the way back to the orange corner once again, and Emerald forced to try to break out once again. Reaper shuts him down in midfield, cuts inside, can't get past Matt, though. Matty with 33 boost. Miss flips it, backs it over to Kaba. Kaba shot on target, saved by Reaper. It's still up, though. Ren coming off the backboard to get the clear. He does so successfully off to the corner, but Kaba back inside. Reaper's missed it. Kaba's got his third goal. I believe that's his second of the game, actually. But he's got the Radiance Emeralds, third goal of game number two. Lennox does have a bit of ping issue, he says. Although he has 32 ping. So it's probably a client side thing rather than a server. But regardless of the lag, Radiance Emerald does have a 3-0 lead here in this second game. Quick Matty, blocked by Ren. Now Aggie into the midfield. Alba comes through, grabs the corner. 
think he stalled for a bit too long, but Ren's actually going to miss that challenge, and Kaba's got more space to work with. He's faked out Aggie as well. Now Reaper comes through, and Reaper finally gets a touch on the ball. But Lennox back inside. Over to Kaba. Kaba puts it over the crossbar. Is there a fallout from Maddie? No. He plays a, sur a safe third-man role there. Pretty smart decision from him, honestly. And Reaper blocks the follow-up. His third save of the game. As Aggie sends it back out toward the Emerald half, but they're not able to get it past that midfield line. And Pink has really struggled offensively this game as Kaba finds a fourth for Emerald. Lennox takes out, I think, the only defender in the vicinity. Quick Matty chases down Ren. Lennox takes out Reaper, I believe. And it's going to be 4 2 40 to go. And just like that, Emerald have officially gone... Uh, to neutral in their goal differential for the season. Kaba's missed that. Maddie's missed it. Taxes Aggie has also missed it. Now Reaper with a breakaway. Maddie racing back. Reaper into the midfield. Over to Ren. Ren over to Texas Aggie. Shot blocked by Lennox. His follow-up challenge actually not successful despite having the boost advantage. Reaper just found a better lie to the ball there. And now flicks it over one. Here's Ren off the back wall. The fall from Aggie. Shot. No. Tipped away. And quick Maddie's Tries to go on a quick transition, but Reaper has shut him down in midfield, and Radiance Pink are now finally threatening. But is it too little too late? We've got two minutes left, and this could be a fifth for Emerald on the counterattack. It is. Lennox has put in, I think that was his second. And yeah, the challenge, the, a bit of an overextension from Radiance Pink, and Lennox's challenge is really uncontested after he uh, gets that 50 in his favor. It's just kind of smooth sailing from there. Let's see if... Pink can at least get one for the road here. I don't know really the mentality of this team all too well, as it is fairly new. So I don't know if they're thinking, is this a GG go next situation, or are we going to go for the comeback? I don't know. We'll see. Ren shot into the midfield, blocked by Lennox. Lennox's fourth save, I believe. Oh, I'm thinking of Reaper. That was his first. <laughs> Ignore me. And a couple of demos coming out from Pink onto Emerald, and now Reaper extends that one downfield. Nice pass from Ren. Off the back wall, looking for their first goal. It's blocked. Ren's follow-up. Reaper trying to take out Lennox in the net, but he's not able to get there in time. And Lennox grabs his second save. Now quick Maddie on the transition. Over to Kaba. Off the backboard. Follow from Maddie. Brock blocked by Ren. What a save from him. And now it's Aggie going the other way with a minute 11 to go. There's a rare miss on the wall from Lennox. But no follows there just yet. Ren to himself off the wall. Into the midfield. Reapers fainted out one, and Texas Aggie has enough time to move through. Now, Ren, what an angle that is. Near post shot, and it's in. A minute to go, and Radiance Pink get on the board for the first time in this second game. Well done from him, and quite the angle, honestly. 56 seconds to go, Ren. Into the corner, back out, and inside. Kappa takes it away, and Reaper can't get a touch on it. Aggie forced to race back to midfield. Now coming off the wall, blocked by Kaba. The shot, blocked by Reaper. And a lot of ping pong going back and forth as teams, uh, both teams are just kind of clearing it hard down each other's sidelines, and then it's just met with another clear. 30 seconds left. Kaba shut down by Reaper, and there's another long clear. Let's see if... Uh, Pink can actually take possession off this one. Ren, nice pinch. And a nice follow-up attempt, but he's going to miss. And now Kaba with the counter. Nice 50 over 1, over 2, and in 6-1. In favor of Radiance Emerald, 11 seconds left. And that 50 over Reaper beats Reaper, obviously. But also Texas Aggie was pushing a bit too close behind him. And Aggie will get beat as well, and Ren unable to rotate back in time. And that will officially, well, I mean, it was kind of officially done already, but that will officially, officially do it for the game, as Cabo will get credit for that own goal. I'm going to say that was intentional, just to get the Brazil. Big respect, honestly, as Reaper just knocks it in. <laughs> and 7-1 uh, now in favor of Emerald. That will definitely do it for this second game. And maybe another one as <laughs> that pinched off the post. Reaper up to try to kill it. And Ren sends it downfield one last time. Kaba with the touch. 
and Ren will slam it down to the ground. Radiance Emerald bounces back in game two, and the series is tied up. <laughs> Just like a decent match, and that's what we're getting as we actually have moved beyond DFH for the last time. This is not going to be the last map of the series, although we will still see it as we transition over to DFH stating with a tied series, one to one as we're going to get underway here in game number three. Let's see if Pink can stop the momentum or not. As they had a 3-2 nail-biter, and then they transitioned immediately to a 7-1 thrashing from Emerald. And off the bat, a lot more crowded than we've seen the first couple of games, but Lennox has almost nestled that into the back post, but no one is able to get a touch on the follow-up. It's still dangerous, though, but Ren's clear. It gets it off to the side. And Reaper clears downfield to midfield. Ren's backed off, though, and that's left Pink in a dangerous position here. And kind of seems like we've uh, started where we left off last game, but Ren is trying to be quick to change that as he goes all the way downfield to the back line. But Kaba clears. Aggie keeps the pressure on for Pink, though. Around one. Slows down Maddie as well. And Reaper and Kaba will collide in the corner as well. That's into the midfield. Lennox beats out Reaper, who had no boost to follow that one up with. And it still stays in the orange corner. Quick Maddie bumped off. Ren shot off the crossbar and out. And Pink can't capitalize. But it was a nice first effort after not the best game, too. They are certainly showing their form as Reaper nails that one. 1-0 in favor of Radiance Pink. 3.47 to go. And the Pink problems continue for Lennox, although he was close. It still doesn't look like a server problem, but I'm not positive. <laughs> we can change servers if he wants, though. So I don't know if April can let him know that, but I, I will DM him just in case when I get a break. 337. Aggie actually passed that right into the middle for Reaper, but he was already turning around trying to rotate back. Ren bails out his team there as he gets it off the side, and Maddie's blown up. Reaper gets past everybody, and Lennox takes it all the way back into his own corner. 97 boost to follow that one up, but he loses the challenge to Reaper, and Reaper into the midfield as well. Quick Maddie all the way downfield, though. Lennox trying to follow this one up. Has a touch inside. Nice pass. Kaba's denied by Ren, who gets to the pass first. And Aggie, unable to clear, actually. And here comes Quick Maddie, the shot on target. Ren gets it wide, and three minutes to go. Still, it'll be Radiance Pink up top by one. Let's see how long it'll last, though. As Aggie racing down the right field line, gets past Quick Maddie, and almost got it across the face of the net, but Cobb will come through to clear it, and Reaper takes it all the way back to his own corner to try to get some boost and recollect. What a clear that is from him as we approach halftime. Over to Aggie. What a pass. Are you kidding me? 2.33 on the clock. Someone clipped that. I don't know if it was intentional, but it was a dime of a back pass from Reaper over to Aggie. And it's a two-goal lead now in favor of Radiance Pink. What a play. And yes, Ben, I do agree. We've had enough drama for one circuit. It's two weeks in. <laughs> oh, gosh. IGL is interesting sometimes, that's for sure. Let's see. Can Emerald bounce back? What a save from Lennox to keep it at 2-0. Now, the key is transition. The rotations are getting pretty bunched up. Maybe that's the fault of Lennox's ping or something. I'm not really sure, but whatever the cause is, that's just kind of what's happening right now. Regardless, if that's cleaned up, you could be looking at a lot more opportunities for Emerald because they're able to get out of their defensive half that way. But right now, a couple of brief stints, but nothing too serious. Aggies everywhere. <laughs> it's true. Nice play from Ren. Quick Manny gets in the way, though. Reaper into the midfield. Lennox off to the side. Texas Aggie downfield once again. They're looking for a third here. What was that camera view? <laughs> I think Maddie saw the same thing we did, and it's going to cause him to give it away. Reaper finds Radiance Pink's third. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not really sure what that camera view was, but it was awkward, and Maddie can't get the clear. 3-0 in favor of Radiance Pink. 
Lennox. What a kickoff from him. Into the midfield for Kaba. The shot from Kaba. Oh my goodness, he nailed that into the bottom corner. 3 1 Emerald on the board. And what a dime from Lennox. The passing in this series has been ridiculous in that shot placement, too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 3 1. 123 to play. Can Emerald keep this up? Will the late game heroics be enough? Reaper trying to shut it down. Has the air dribble. Beats two. And he's going to put it in. The lead back up to three goals. A minute 17 to go. And Radiance Pink tacks on a fourth. Brilliant piece of aerial control from Reaper. To quote Carter, air dribble challenge. Um, as we have a minute 17 left to go here. Radiance Pink over Emerald. Three goals difference separating them. Emerald trying to cut down as they are threatening early. Lennox is area off that wall. Not good enough, though. He comes back around and redeems himself with a nice touch around the corner. Ren's got the clear. Reaper blows up Maddie and Kaba, the sole remaining uh, Emerald player in the blue half. And that gives Reaper so much time to flick it through. But Lennox back the other way. Dodges the demo from Aggie, but he will be bumped off of it at least. Kaba slows it down. Aggie back to our net. Here's Reaper to receive, and he doesn't even need Reaper. That's going to nestle into the back post, and Aggie's grabbed a fourth for Radiance Pink. 38 seconds left, and I think we can chuck that up for game three. Really good recognition from Aggie to see that they're out of position just slightly, and he's able to just nail it in. Enough power and everything, the power of the placement, everything was there for them. And they've added a fifth. And a very comfortable cushion, comfortable enough that I am almost willing to write it off, but you never know, this game is unpredictable at times. But at the rate that Emerald is right now, I, they're unable to get it out of their half, so I don't think that miracle is going to work out as Texas Aggie nets a sixth. 16 seconds left. 6-1. And the goal differential of this series immediately is going to get reversed from last game. There's still 16 seconds to get that Brazil as well. Ten seconds left. And Reaper looking for the Brazil. He's missed it though, and Radiance Pink wins 6-1. They're one game away from clinching this one. They will not be changing servers here, and we will be going into game four. The first time <laughs> that this map has been shown on stream ever, and I am happy to see it here. Game four. Radiance Pink takes this game. They take the series. Radiance Emerald take this game. They force a game five and keep going. And right now the momentum all in Pink's favor, but as we saw... Emerald grabbed a Brazil in game two, and that momentum did not hold whatsoever. So, you never know. The demo is still coming out pretty strong here. 30 seconds in, we've already got one. Reaper shut down by all three Emerald players there. Now Cabo with the transition, blown up by Ren, though. His second demo of the game, and we are only 30 seconds in. What a clear that is from Reaper. What a touch, and he's going to keep it going as well. Trying to carry past Lennox, but Lennox dodges the demo and is able to get the clear. Not far enough out, though, and it is still an Aggie's reach as he puts some pressure on the net. Reaper keeps possession for Pink. Let's see if they can threaten early Ren with a third demo. And Reaper grabs the boost. If yeah, this is the Game 4 strategy, it's got to be both infuriating to deal with, but also... Oh, wow! What in the world was that play? Reaper gets credit for it. It's Ren pinching it across with Aggie, flying and following it up. And then another pinch off the back wall right into the arms of Reaper who slams it home. The first minute will be uh, showing an advantage toward Radiance Pink here as they do have a one-go lead. Let's see if Emerald can respond. Take some boost deals, get some demos in there, and, you know, <laughs> fight fire with fire. Right now, Ren has grabbed his fourth demo. That could be an open net. Lennox goes for boost instead of the ball, and it's in 2-0 in favor of Radiance Pink. And Maddie actually a nice pass infield to Cabo, but Cabo's return pass intercepted by Reaper. Overall, not really the fault.
<laughs> like I said, I turned the wrong way, I'm sad. Not really the fault of Radiant Emerald on that play. It was just a great read from Reaper. So let's see if Pink can extend the lead, or maybe we can see Radiant Emerald get one back as Reaper's bumped off the ball. Dex is agging around the corner. Quick Maddie now. 60 boost to work with Ren as him beat. Doesn't go for a demo this time, though. But we do have a double commit. Neither player going for boost. Or, I guess, the ball. Because of lack of boost. Excuse me. Words are hard. That sent dangerously across the midfield. Quick Maddie Out front. Finding Lennox. No. Kaba will have the touch on it. But he is denied. Now run over to Reaper. Reaper's missed it. Ren goes for another bump. Shocker. Lennox off the wall. Banks it into the midfield. But Aggie is there to take over with 18 boost to uh, left in the tank. Now a Reaper. His touch over to Ren. Ren extends it. Nice touch from him. Almost. I thought it was going to get the double, but I don't think he had boost. And he's unable to challenge Lennox in the air. And now it'll be Kaba. Theoretically taking possession. No, it will be Lennox. The fake from Emerald. They confused Pink. And now they're on the counter attack. That pass over to Matty. The shot off the post. And it's going to be cleared. And Kaba takes it away from both of his teammates by accident. But he will stall well enough. Ren has bumped Matty off the ball. And Aggie and uh, Ren. Pinch it into the orange corner. It will be Kaba clearing. Two minutes, 15 seconds to go. And Lennox has to trail all the way back. Reaper might have a third. Quick Manny slows it down. Ren blocked, actually, by Reaper. And we stay at 2-0. Now the transition play. Kaba can't get up in time, and Reaper clears it. Quick Matty has been beat by one. Ren beats a second one as well, but Lennox downfield. And now, with two minutes left, Emerald need two to stay in this series. Will they be able to find those goals? We haven't seen a lot of pressure at all, really. Not a lot of shots on goal registered, etc. And now it's really a stalling game for Pink. The demos have done their job, and I don't think we'll see them return unless Emerald is able to uh, grab a goal. Reaper with a save. Kaba and Lennox combine. And that is out into the midfield. Ren up for it. He'll leave it for Reaper, who gets it off to the side wall. A minute and 15 seconds left. And quick Maddie with possession. Over two. Off the wall. Can he finish it off? No, it's just too close to that near post. And it will be cleared away. Still, no goals for Emerald in this first or uh, fourth game. And possibly their last if they can't find any. Reaper stalls some more, and a minute to go. And now he's found Ren. Can't find the touch, though, and Aggie is all the way back. Unable to get the touch. Quick, Maddie tucks it in. 48 seconds left. This series is not over yet. And honestly, a good defensive play from Aggie, at least positioning-wise. He's just mishandled the aerial. He's going to miss it, and it's just in. 48 seconds to go. Emerald down by one now. And Lennox trying to close the gap. Cuts inside. Ren defends well, though. Nice play from him, honestly. And Lennox gets revenge. And Kaba blows up Reaper. And here comes the plays that uh, <laughs> Pink were using earlier in this game to set the tone. That's going to water fall down. It's dangerous. Kaba takes it away from Reaper. But they got to break out. 20 seconds left. Where's the clear? It's nowhere. Ren may have just put in the dagger. 16 seconds left. It's now a two-goal lead as Aggie just barrels through and takes out two defenders. And it's open. How will Emerald respond here? They win the kickoff. That's a good start. Ren sailing through the air. Takes it away. Kaba is denied. And now, Lennox unable to turn the corner in time. Reaper takes it, and that is going to do it for the series. Ending on Forbidden Temple. No need for Champions Field today, but... Honestly, a really good showing for Emerald's technically first game of the season. And Radiance Pink will take it a good standing from them as well, as they did lose 3-1 last week. So Radiance Pink up to 1-1. One Radiance Emerald to 0-2, but they will have to regain and bounce back, etc.